Well, let's look at the game in the context of the Big Ten. Michigan is playing Indiana today. But you can see the winner of this game between Illinois and Iowa really will put themselves in a great position to play on New Year's Day. And, of course, Iowa played in Pasadena last January 1st. 54-28 won by Iowa. Skillet gets into it. It'll be Clinton Lynch. He'll bring it up to the 10. 15-20. Big hold in the 30. 35 and Lynch is across the 40 to the 42. Ohio State, very good offensive line. Tim Simpson's an All-American candidate. Here is Fagan running wide. He's short of the 45. John Derby, the guy that Steve and I were in high school wrestler, and that competitive nature comes into his football play. Double pumping over the middle. Complete to Dilger, the tight end. The red shirt freshman has a first down. Inside the 30. Look now at this number one right defense in the Big Ten. Gator is 6'6". He'll get his hands up high today. But Leroy Smith, very active at that defensive end spot. Derby, we talked about him earlier. And this secondary, they'll hit you. Brian Wise is 6'2", a 215-pound strong safety. Perdusco back on first down. Over the middle, complete. This is Camino Bell, and Bell is very close to a first down. Score, and then did not score until late in the game when they won it with a field goal. Second down, less than a yard. Deep hand off to Fagan. He's got the first down inside the 15. Gary Clark made the stop again. And I tell you, Steve, that touchdown against Ohio State's in the backfield. This is Boyer. Boyer running for about a yard. And John Kirby out of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Second and nine. Single running back, Camino Bell. He'll get the ball. Looking for some running room. Almost short of the 10. Bell. Fagan and Bell in the backfield. Fagan will move to the slot. He's in motion. Verdusco on third and seven. Stays in the pocket. He completes it to Gus Palma. Palma fighting for the first and goal. I don't think he got it. He did not. Early, and that's why they're going for it. This is the eighth play of the stride. Fourth and one. Three tight ends are in. Hand off to Bell. He's got it. First and goal. He's inside the five. It's becoming a very good offensive line for Illinois. First and goal at the four. Bell straight ahead, fighting for the goal line. He's in. Touchdown, Illinois. Bell scoring his seventh touchdown rushing. Watch John Derby, 31, get blocked this time. And Camino Bell does an excellent job of staying, moving forward. He just didn't go down. He bounced outside for the touchdown. Impressive drive, 58 yards and nine plays. Point after attempt now by Chris Richardson, the redshirt freshman. Holding his John Wright, the snap from Greg Eichhorn, and it's a seven to nothing game. So the opening series, Richardson to kick off. Dana Hughes and Harold Jasper back for the Hawkeyes. This will be Dana Hughes. He is a big play guy. Up to the 20, 25, and a nice open field tackle that time by Samuels, who came for the Marines, playing for the Rose Bowl. First down, just short of the 25. This is Mike Saunders, who's playing with a very sore rib. The senior out of Milton, Wisconsin, brings it out to the 29. Matt Rogers, the all-Big Ten quarterback. He had a tough week last week, throwing four interceptions, but he is a coach's son and knows how to play this football game. Montgomery starting at fullback. He's played some tailback. We mentioned Hughes. He's been the big play guy. And Alan Cross is very dangerous at tight end. He has 11 catches. Second down and six now for the Hawkeyes. Saunders goes in motion. Rogers to throw. And he's on target. First down catch. That is Dane and Hughes, who's the starting center fielder for the Iowa Hawkeyes. A 14-yard gain. And defensively, well, let's look first to Iowa's offense. Davis, Peroni, Devlin. Devlin is very, very good. In fact, Hayden Fry feels there's not a better center in the country. And Baxley, a senior, 280 pounds. In fact, Illinois thinks that's the best offensive line they face this year. They're going to find out as this game wears on. Pitch comes back to Saunders again, going wide. Good pursuit that time. 
Second and ten. Saunders again, and he runs into some congestion, but moves the pile forward across. Third and six. Hughes will come in motion. Rogers is so mobile, moving. Moves the pocket. Tom Palloon makes the catch. It'll be a first down. Four interceptions. The real pressure is on Matt Rogers to pull it back together as a team. And all the pressure is on his shoulders. Well, he's got to make more things happen. They don't have that power backfield of a year ago. And Saunders fumbles the ball, but I think he got it back. Next Saturday, 3.30 Eastern. 20 to 12 is either the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. Rogers on target. Allen Cross the tight end. And Cross offense. Talking about Lou Tepper, the defensive coordinator. Third and three now. Rogers completes the Hughes to the 25 and Dana Hughes to the 22. Line of scrimmage just outside the 22. Hughes in motion. Rogers to throw. Hughes can't come up with that one. For 20 solo tackles against Ohio State. On second down, Rogers to Hughes, struggling for the first down. I think he got it. He did. As Cross three catches already for 40 yards. Handoff to Saunders, diving forward. Mike Saunders, the ball carrier. Starting to be playing this well. This is the 12th play of this drive on a second down. Nice play action fake. Rogers in zone. Touchdown catch by Allen Cross. by Verdusco on first down. Scrambling around, being chased by Mike Wells, and he shows his mobility as John Derby tackles him at the Verdusco. Second and four now at the 28 of the Illini. Seven all our score. Verdusco to Camino Bell, and Bell has the first down, I think. His forward progress will give it to him as he is first down. Quick pitch, near side. This is Clinton Lynch who's come back into the ball game. And Lynch out of Youngstown, Ohio. Verdusco, nice play action, has taken blocking for him, gets it off to Bell. Bell makes a nice open field move and advances to the 43, very close to the first down. This guy miss, and the measurement is a first down. Very fast-paced first quarter. This is Gus Palmer going in motion. Verdusco giving off to Fagan. Fagan bouncing off of people across the 45 to the 47 and John Derby who will make a lot of second and six. Verduzco being flushed for a moment gets it off to Bell who's come back in and Bell is across the 45 to the 47 but personal foul against Illinois. Verduzco that deep drop that Steve was talking about. He's in trouble. At the 27, he goes down. Putting the pressure on the quarterback. And so in to punt the football is Corey Wells. He hits a beauty. Harold Jasper back for the Hawkeyes at the 30. First guy misses him. That was Steve Nelson. And then the guy who came flying down from the 30-yard line. First down. Rodgers got time. Far side. Saunders. He's got it. First down to the 50-yard line. Comes in a wide receiver. He's the fastest wide out for Iowa. Hand off to Saunders again. A flag as Saunders wrestled down. I think we have another. The near side. Paul 
Kuyava is now in at fullback. Kuyava, number 23, he gets the ball. Here he comes. Now to Cudahy, Wisconsin. That's his longest of the season. First down now at the 27-yard line. Nice play action by Rodgers. Backside pressure coming. Scrambling out of there. This guy's very mobile. He's to the 20 to the 18. Second man, Saunders. He takes it to the 15-yard line. That'll we tried. <laughs> At the 15, Rodgers again. Over the middle. Kuyava. Kuyava drops it to seven. They're backed up on the second and two. They have one timeout left. Iowa trying to take the lead. Rodgers, nice play action. End zone broken up. The intended receiver was Matt Convert here, and I'd have to settle for the field goal. Near side, intended for Ken Jones. Phil Mo Johnson to hold. Steve Bro to snap. Skillet's kick is up, and Iowa is taking a three-point lead. Yeah. Produsco back, setting up a screen, complete to Camino Bell. Bell to the 40, lowers his head, and he's about a half yard Produsco short of the first down. Homecoming, 1991, with the lead. Brings him out. Camino Bell diving for the first down. He got it, and they get the winner of that one will be in Pasadena January 1st. John Wright goes in motion. We have an end around reverse to Albert Turner. Turner to the 50, 45, and looks like he may have a first down. Matt Hilliard over the play work. I'll tell you, that's the one thing that concerned I was those wide receivers. They think Illinois has got remarkable play from them. Hand off this time to Fagan. Fagan out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. Bolts to the yards to go. From the 36. Verduzco, that deep drop that Steve talked about. Completes to Gilger, the tight end. He's got a first down inside the 25 to the 24. Now for 67 yards. He is hot. And off to Fagan again. Fagan stopped this time for a very little game. Second down, no game. Second and 10. Camino Bell. Bell to the 20. Leg drives his way inside the 20. Gary. As far, oh, movement right side. Started to say, thus far, Illinois is 0 for 2 on third downs, and that's not going to help their cause here. The right side, Tony. <laughs> on the third and 10, Verdusco looking, completes it to John Wright. To the 15, he's got the first down to the 10. John Wright, who John McAvoy, Illinois. Verdusco now 8 of 8 for 80 yards. Quick pitch, Camino Bell. Bell to the five, and the down of bounds there. A little bit short of the five. That's David Olson, number 80, the tight end, changing his alignment. John Wright in motion. Driving forward was Bell. You know, Bell. Go from the five. Verduzco, scrambling around. He gets rid of it. John Wright, touchdown, Illinois. What a play by Verduzco. The Lama, the nose guard, was draped all over Verduzco. And somehow he stayed on his feet and completes the pass to John Wright. Watch the pressure on Verduzco, the quarterback. Of everyone coming, closing in on him. And Verduzco, the ability to jump inside away from the pressure. That's what's making him a different player in his junior year at Illinois. The ability to get away from pressure and find the open area. Chris Richardson out of Richardson, Texas to attempt the point after. John Wright, who just caught the touchdown to hold. Richardson kick is right down the middle. And Jason Verdusco, engineering that last drive, has not missed on a pass. He is 9 of 9 for 85 yards as Richardson will kick off. 14-10, the Illini. Hughes and Jasper back deep for Iowa. This is Harold Jasper. He's a red shirt freshman, breaks it out across the 15 to the 17 yard line. 18 yard line, the Hawkeyes down by four. Mike Sonder comes up the middle across the 25 to the 27 yard line. Second and a yard to go. 
deep drop setting up a screen and it's complete to Lou Montgomery and he's cut down third down and two. Oh, Rogers takes a big hit that was a sack to punt the football Elmel Johnson Camino Bell twin guys back high snap Isaac just got it underway and he got a good punt out of that this is Johnson from the 35 and tackled instantly so Iowa coaching that Hayden Fry and Bobby Babbitt turning a program around staying with it and seeing great success in the program Verdusco on a rollout wide open Albert Turner first down catch to the 45 yard line there's Verdusco showing his flexibility running left the right hander completing the ball 13 yard gain Doug Book He's being able to get away from pressure and find that open area. Boy, if he finds that Doug Flutie magic, look out. Not that he hasn't had success. He has not missed. Second and eight. The play action. Cut. Palmer to the 25. Gus Palmer knocked out of bounds. Catches for three touchdowns against Houston. Produced over the middle, he makes another completion to Dilger. Dilger has it inside the five, first and goal. And making the big completion. He is something special. Pick to Camino Bell. Bell's got a little hole. He's going to be short of the goal line. Camino Bell was the one. Quick pitch, Bell again. Got a block. Touchdown, Illinois. Camino Bell with the second touchdown run of the day. Four yards earlier, this from one yard away. Teams make a big mistake when they think Illinois is just a throwing football team. That's a very good point. And I think the balance of John McAvitt's system has been evidenced every year. Right forward. The way he has coached these teams and the reason they're so effective. Richardson's point after is good. 21 passing. It isn't just passing. They can hurt you with the run. Richardson now kicking off. 21-10 the Illini. Knuckleball. Fielded very effectively by Jasper. Jasper up to the 25 and scored down there every time. From the 25-yard line. 5.45 to go in the first half of play. Saunders in motion. Rogers looks off the coverage. That's it instead. Complete for Allen Cross the tight end. Go, but not bad. The play action. He does a good job of handling the ball. Complete to Jasper. Jasper makes the catch. Freshman. He and Gus Palma come from the same area. Bellport, New York. Here's Saunders. The line I fired or something like that. And he said, well, I don't understand it in these circumstances. <laughs> Second down, 12 yards to go. Saunders in motion. Rodgers has got time. Gets it off to Lou Montgomery. Montgomery, the 45. Beautiful open field. 45 of the Illini. 21-10, Illinois with the lead. Rodgers, little draw to Montgomery, and Montgomery's got the first down. So he comes in for Ari Fogey at nose guard. First down for Iowa. Play action by Rodgers again. Backside pressure coming through. Passes made by Jasper. He's got it the ball. Boy, did he deliver that ball. Here's a handoff to Saunders. Saunders inside the 10 to the 8. And they all make good decisions, but the real difference that separates the best from the rest, the ability to play. Kuyava's in now as the lead back in the eye. Saunders behind him, that movement. That was Setnick situation. Iowa has not made any infractions. First and goal at the four. Handoff to Lava and nobody was... <laughs> Lou Montgomery, play action to him. Throw to Blake Saunders diving and they're indicating he did not get in. Let's see. Now they indicate touchdown. The official was knocked down and it took him a while to get up and signal touchdown. Mike Saunders is coming out of the 
backfield, putting pressure on the linebacker that's got to get outside. He's not there. And watch the great effort to get the ball to stretch across to break the plane for the touchdown. The thing to remember, the pylon is considered to be part of the end zone. And so he got right over the pylon and took it in. Point after attempt now. Skillet. Hardly holds. He hit it. Go down to go in this first half of play and it's been wide open. Excellent football. Verduzco has not missed a pass yet and he'll be coming in after this kickoff. Clinton Lynch had a 41-yard return to start the game. Goes to the far side. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Rodgers is 14 of 17 for 151. Verduzco straight up the middle almost intercepted by Ron Gator. Receiver. Quick pitch. Near side. Fagan. Fagan brings it out to the 28. So that last pack or two is put to the bottom of the screen. On a third and four, Camino Bell adjusts his run and gets the first down. Now that is good vision. We see the timeouts remaining. 53 seconds left in the half. And we're going to... Ball, ball start on the offense. He'll never come to talk <laughs> the middle Elbert Turner almost got it and then further full field and Jason forgot to be able to really pick and choose second and 15 for the Alina out to Camino Bell Bell across the 35 and he's going to be stopped Camino just Bell short of the first here. down as Carlos jokes but they're so complicated I can't remember them. You <laughs> third and three now Verduzco with a deep drop the field complete to Turner now they have no timeouts left they'll stop the clock with a first down they'll wind the clock and here we go and a quick spike of the ball by Verduzco well, it took a look at top of the field John Wright Elbert Turner's over there along with Gus Palma Verduzco and he's going to be tackled and that'll bring us to the end of the half Matt Hilliard out of Cedar Falls Iowa and Mike Well after this Illinois 21, Iowa 17. I'm Gary Bender along with Steve Davis. And Steve, as you look at the numbers through the first half, you the Illini with a four-point lead. Not an exceptionally good kick. Gasper coming up. Has him to 25. To the 30. Nice to start across the 40, 45, 50. And the red shirt freshman takes it. Make this special. And Iowa in a great situation field position Liza Saunders roars to a first down. Oh, oh. Oh, no, Rogers again and Saunders makes an inside move and he's to the 20 another first down Rogers taking a lot of time at the line of scrimmage second man to Saunders trips on his own feet as he had a big hole block that was Holosek that got a hand on him. I thought Saunders had tripped on his own feet. And Mike Pulaski. Dead ball. Ball start. So he was drawn off. Backslip. Penalty makes it second down six. Lou Montgomery, the fullback, straightened up as he tries to make it to the 15. Saunders comes in motion. Deep drop. Look out. Hopkins got him. He got rid of the ball. It's going to be caught by Saunders. They're going to rule the ball dead. They're going to rule. Now by Skillet. He could cut it to one. Skillet's kick is on the way. And it's going to veer left. It's no good. Didn't hit the... And Illinois takes over at their own 28-yard line. Olsen, the tight end, will go in motion. Play action by Verduzco. And... And it's going to be caught remarkably. No! He's the junior out of Park Forest, Illinois. And up to Camino Bell, and he's swung under. Right now, emotionally, this game has pivoted in favor. Right now. Verduzco. And he's going to get out to the 30 31 and buried there in Illinois. Not to my turn. Not a very good punt. Off the side of his foot. And it's going to take an Illinois bounce, however, and go all the way down to the 30. But it wasn't our 10-yard line after the punt of 39 yards. 
Iowa has the football for the second time in the second half. Rodgers, backside pressure, gets it off to Lou Montgomery. The fullback out to the 40-yard line, very close to the first. Wanted to get into. Second man is Saunders, and Saunders will get the first down for the Hawkeyes. Out to the four. Rodgers on the first down. Gets it off to Montgomery again. Montgomery, open field to the 50. Nice tack, long two to go. Rodgers play action again. Boy, he freezes those linebackers with the play action. He completes it on the near side. Long way to make coverage. Jeff Antelo with that catch. Here's Rodgers. He's hit 10 in a row now, and he's going to be sacked this time. Fogey is back there. 21-17, Illinois with the lead. Rodgers up the seam, and Bill Moe Johnson has picked it up. That was Saunders up the seam on the far hash, and Bill Moe Johnson comes up with his second interception of the year. The first turnover of this football game. Probably the only bad ball that I've seen Rodgers throw today. Exactly. See what happens when you get out of down and distance situations that are comfortable. You've got to throw the football. Bill Mel Johnson, really two men are breaking on the ball. It's right where it needs to be. What a great catch by Johnson, number three. So now, after the first turnover, at the 11, Illinois with a football. And off to Camino Bell and Ron Gator was there. Also, second and 13 from the goal line. Verduzco pulls it down. Being flushed out of there. Throws up the field and completes it. Albert Turner at the 22. 6.44 to go on the third. It's a Jeff Lynch, and right now, Iowa has a quality play. Second and 11. Lynch Make that Darren Boyer, and Boyer brings it out by Verduzco. Pressure coming, he's going to be dropped by Leroy Smith. That was Brian Hopkins, the good blocking. Corey Wells to punt the ball. Fine punt. Harold Jasper waits on at the 45, and Julian Brown got it. 4.52 left in the third. Hughes will come in motion. Stepping up in the pocket, Hughes in tenders him, and Johnson's got another interception. His second of the day. Boy, did he adjust to the ball. As Hughes looked up and looked too late, and Johnson was there. Johnson does a wonderful job of playing the ball perfectly. Good fake inside. Going to Hughes, number three, but watch the ability of Phil Johnson, number three, Come right in, always concentrate on the ball. Really, the receiver, Hughes, he didn't turn around and look for the ball. Johnson took over from there. They say they're always trying to pick on Johnson because of his height at 5'9". But he got up in the air that time. He has been a complete player for this Illinois team, his third interception of the year. First down for the 21, and Iowa's had the ball three times, two interceptions, and then the illegal procedure call that stopped all three drives. Hand off to Camino. Iowa 61. So the Illini have gotten stopped thus far. Verduzco spinning around and threw it incomplete. And very well decision gave us a moment ago. Only four yards in offense. Hand off to Fagan. Nothing. It's fourth down. I tell you, the crowd is into it. Corey Wells to punt again. Jasper at the 40 yard line try to change direction and he's going to be dropped good reaction Rodgers to Saunders Saunders takes it to the 48 yard line that way to see the coverage Rodgers back now on second and four over the middle to pick Montgomery Montgomery's got the first down to the 44 Rodgers to Saunders he breaks the tackle from Streeter Stays on his feet, and then Cooper, Cooper eventually catches up with him. But for the Big Ten, they start playing 93. Rogers back, scrambling around. And that will be short hop. That will not be a completion. 
after Rodgers uses the timeout. Looks like he's checking now at the line of scrimmage. Pulaski coming after him, setting up the screen. Complete to Montgomery. Montgomery, open field move. Fumbles the ball, and Illinois got it. The Illini have it. Sweet comes up with a fumble recovery. Shelby stripped him of the ball. Here's Fagan, running wide. Gets a nice block and converts it in to a gain of six yards. Interceptions and a fumble. Pitch comes back to Lynch. Lynch, he'll get the first down. Comes across the 40, goes out of bounds at the... Produsco with that deep drop. Complete to Dilger, the tight end. First down across the 45 to the Iowa 43. In front of them or behind them. Dilger has four catches for 68 yards. Produsco back, double pumping, and he goes down. Fourth sack of the game for Iowa's. What's happened thus far defensively. Hand off to Camino Bell, sprinting to the outside. And third down, almost 11 to go. Verduzco back. Flag on the play, complete to John Wright. He lunges, and guess what? what? The illegal procedure, they'll bring it back. Shane, they're going to have one more play. He can't end the quarter on a penalty. Verduzco, look out. He's going down again, the fifth sack of the game. This time it's wrong. 15 minutes to go. I'm Gary Bender along with Steve Davis. Corey Wells will start the fourth quarter. Game, and all of a sudden, nothing on the scoreboard here in the third. Wells hits this one to Jasper at the 18-yard line. Gets away from Julian Brown and is tackled by Steve Nelson. Returns back emotionally. Oklahoma's been ranked more on tradition than performance thus far. Here's Montgomery as a counteraction. He takes it. Two interceptions, a fumble, and an illegal procedure. As Rodgers now, out to Montgomery, that little flip over the middle, he's got a first down. That's been the big play in the second half. Saunders, Kuyaba in the backfield, handoff to Saunders. Breaks one tackle, but he doesn't get away from Shelby, Aaron left in the game. Changing the play is Rodgers on a second down and 12. Roy, complete across the tight end. Cross has a first down. 50 yards. First down at the 42. Lou Montgomery slices inside. Shelby had a year for the bill. Second and four. That's Montgomery again. This time hit hard. Gets a couple of more. Chris, Adam Day for football today. Rodgers on third and four. Behind the intended receiver, Saunders. Back to punt. He's going to try to kick that one into the coffin corner. Didn't really get that much on it, but Filmo Johnson. John Wright will come in motion. Play action by Verduzco. Gets rid of it to Wright. Wright makes a nice spin move and gets additional yardage. Second down now, two. A gain of eight. Camino Bell, not easy, but I think he got the first. And Bell in the backfield. Play action for Dusko. Complete to Dilger. Dilger, the tight end across the 30 to the 30. Talent they're excited about. Second in a yard. This is Lynch, and Lynch drags the tackler what appears to be enough. Down in a yard to go. Illinois exercising their timeout. Hand off to Boyer, and he did not finesse. You always hear about Russell White. You just saw how good he is. Line drive by Forey Wells. Harold Jasper at the 20-yard line. Up to the 30. Spin move there. And so 70 yards away. The goal they suffered two interceptions, fumbled, and punted once. And they have it again at the 30. Montgomery first out of there. And he lunges forward close to the make a difference. Iowa down by four. That was the first down to the 41. Handoff this time comes to Montgomery again. Rogers, pressure coming to the middle, setting up a screen, and again back. Third down, eight yards to go. Rogers with time. On target to Hughes. 
Hughes to the 35, and that's a big 35 after the 22-yard gain. Iowa with the football. Rodgers giving off this time to Saunders. He's in trouble. Rodgers, keep coming, gets away, completes it to Hughes again, and Hughes tackled to the 30-yard line. And then coming right back, 65 yards, Washington. Quarterback draw now. Rodgers to the 20, and that shows his... 540 left in the game. There's a draw handoff to Montgomery. And Montgomery hit hard by Hopkins. Rodgers... Saunders, nice spin move, and then he is hit hard. Saunders giving ground, and he's going to lose a big yardage play back to Kuyava's in the backfield. Three wideouts. And Rogers rolling out the first down. As it started on the 31, the 12th play a moment ago. Here's the 13th play. Hand off to Montgomery, and he got second down and five from there. Quarterback draw, Rodgers fighting his way, and he is short and goal from the half foot line. And Rodgers is in. Touchdown, Iowa. on the play 69 yards and 14 plays skillet point after is up and good the great ones separate themselves in the big pressure moment skillet weird kickoff camino bell chasing after it Hensley, West gets it and will be blocked at the 25 Verduzco, who's been sacked five times, comes out throwing to Camino Bell. He is going to make it across the 30. He's just short of the first down. It's back and down. Two yards to go. Verduzco back again. That will give him a first down. The ball comes loose. There's a first down. The big hit was by Carlos Gaines. Play action. Verduzco completes it to Lynch. Lynch trying to get the first down. He will not. It's fourth down. Shotgun Verduzco. And it's incomplete. Camino Bell, the intended receiver. Something special in the second half of one. From the 32. Hand off to Saunders. Saunders to the 30 will be tackled there. Illinois has only one timeout left. Linebacker played much better. And then they were able to get pressure on him. Now we have the flag, the headlines been running in. Oh, full start on the part of the offense. Still second down. Under, underneath type route as the game wore on. Rodgers is thrown for 281 yards. He has two interceptions and a touchdown. Here goes on the draw. Boy, he's hammered here. Julian Brown from the homecoming day. The third and 14, Montgomery hit quickly. Mike Hopkins knifing in there. Yards to go. And coming after him. Isaac, not a very good kick. Filmel Johnson picks it up. He'll need to get out of bounds, and he's knocked out of bounds on the far side. From the shotgun. Up the middle, right with a great catch. Now they'll stop the clock. Verduzco now. As soon as they put it in play, we'll snap it. They put it in play, and Verduzco spikes it. Stepping up. And he's going to be sacked for the sixth time by Ron Gator. And it's over. <laughs> 